Hi everyone, so today I'll be doing another brand focus video. Today focusing on the brand Touch In Soul. This, I have a few products from them and mainly testing out their face based products which is like things like primers and foundations. So I will just walk you through the things that I have bought and also as I apply them I'll give you a mini review of how I feel about the product. It will be a first impression because I haven't opened it but if you want to know my final thoughts about the product at the end of the day you can refer to the description box below where I'll leave a link to the blog post with all the details and to the colour pictures and everything everything like that. If you want to know the price and where you can purchase these products, I'll leave it down below as well. So yeah, if you want to see how I achieve a certain look with these products, then just keep on watching. Feels like honey moon skin base and it kind of has the consistency of honey just based on its first looks and if you can see it's also the colour of honey how to use this product apply this in last process of your skincare or before foundation it has velocity in the texture so tap apply it area with gentle touch for its efficient absorption so I guess I'll just apply this primer specifically on half my face and on the other half the side I'll use the no pore bloom <laughs> Yeah, I see what it did. This one is supposed to be a smooth and pore covering primer. Yep, so I'll just apply this on the other half of my face just to see whether it did anything for my skin. The consistency is rather slippery, it isn't as sticky as it looks in the bottle. It feels quite hydrating and it has a very nice scent. It's not too overpowering. And I'm guessing that this primer specifically is supposed to be the hydrating primer. So it's just supposed to give you a little more dewiness and plumpness to your skin. And on the other side, I'll, I will apply the pore minimizing primer. So this is the consistency of it, kind of runny, not like your silicone based primers. I can't really put a finger on how it feels. Somehow it kind of feels like velvet for some reason. It isn't like the Benefit Professional where it's really you can feel that it's a thicker consistency this one's pretty light but at the same time it's not so light that it's like water it kind of glides over the skin like it's doing something but I'll have to look closer up into my skin to see if it did anything at the moment I like how it feels because the thing I have with pore minimizing primers is that I feel like it's really clogging up my pores and isn't really very healthy for the skin Yep, so this is it done. None of them claim to be redness reducing or, you know, to cover up dark spots, that kind of thing. So my skin may look the same. It's just the, the feeling of it, I guess, that will be different. So based on how I feel about the primers after it has set, this side where I use this primer doesn't set down to a dry consistency. It's pretty tacky and it's not too... It doesn't feel like when you apply foundation on top it will stay put, you know what I mean? It's It will slip around and the base doesn't seem very solid. But I like how it... I don't fully know if it did cover my pores because it's transparent after you massage it into your skin but when I touch the areas where my pores are usually larger it feels a little more even and the textured side of my skin also feels a little more even so I'm not too sure whether that is what it intends to do but I can see how it it's more of a, a pore filling sort of primer than a hydrating one yeah maybe I'll give it a little while more but this side where I applied the honey one it has dried down and it's a little sticky but it isn't it isn't too liquidy that if you apply any, anything at all it will slip around and the thing about this one is that it has tiny flecks of gold in it 
and certain parts of my face have those flecks and it's not like you know disappearing or it's not absorbing or anything and it does appear on the skin which is kind of weird but they're not chunky glitter so when you apply your foundation it should be fine but yeah that's a little weird for it to have gold flecks that stick to your skin without doing anything much yeah so I'm just gonna apply the next product this is called the flawless skin top coat and I think it's supposed to act as a foundation but it's supposed to be pretty light not too thick in consistency it says it is more than a foundation hybrid skin top coat a primer BB cream foundation plus powder all in one from skincare to makeup one step skin top coat so you know that's quite a big claim to have all these things combined into one but when I tried it in the store, it did turn into a, a somewhat powdery consistency afterwards. So I'm just going to put this on top of my face base and see which side sort of lasts longer and whether even the foundation does do its job. So I've applied half of it and the other side is bare. Not sure if you can tell but it evened out all my discolorations and acne scarring. I think after I let it set it might give me a more matte finish. It gives me a very healthy and light outlook which I like. I'm just going to do that on the other side as well. that's it on this side. I have more acne scarring on this side so you can sort of see the coverage it gives but on this side I have several but I would generally leave it as that because it has sufficiently reduced the discolorations and if there are a few peeking out I don't mind but on this side when I applied it with my fingers I think the layer was not as even but it did not give me the coverage I desired so I'm just going to use a little more at the back of my hand and apply it with the beauty blender to see if I can get additional coverage. Yep, so I'm pretty happy with that and I like the coverage. It it struck me to be something that was a little more light in, you know, consistency and coverage and that kind of thing, but it's actually on par with a foundation I feel, especially things like the True Match foundation. It's rather liquidy but it gives a lot of coverage, that kind of thing. It gives me that kind of feel. So I'll just let it dry down to see whether it does give me a matte finish with the powder claim in the product so I'll get back to you once it sets. So I'm back with all my other makeup done. This lipstick I'm doing a swatch video so I'm still deciding if I like it but yeah. Basically for the base I just did the primer and put my foundation, put a little bronzer on but I didn't put any concealer or any powder and it has dried down to I wouldn't say a fully matte but it's like satin feeling yeah it doesn't feel too tacky or doesn't feel too dewy so I really like the finish and even though it really doesn't match me now but I think it, I could make it work by adding like darkening drops or something like the cover FX drops that's really all I have to say so overall just to recap on the products that I use from Touch and Soul I use their feels like honeymoon skin base and the no pore blum primer so I use that on half this side and I use it on half this side and the just the general essence I get from this is that I really really like it for someone that uses really heavy salicylic acid yeah 
my skin always is dry even though it's naturally oily and this really helps to keep my skin a little more hydrated and plumper before I apply my foundation and I also like that it dries not to a slippy touch but to an almost slightly damp touch so that's good before you apply your foundation. As for this, I think the general consensus behind this product is that it doesn't compare to maybe the Benefit Professional or other pore minimizing primers. But the thing is that this comes in a non-silicone based type formula and it's really not as thick as you would expect it to be. However, I do see that it did minimize my pores. It may not be as as foolproof as the others where you can apply it on specific areas but when I applied it on my whole area I still find that it gives me a very flawless finish and I like it because it's pretty light and it's not too it doesn't feel as poor blocking if that makes sense so I really like it and even though I applied the foundation over it didn't bunch up at different areas or it didn't crumble in any way so I really like it and I would recommend you try this if you're, you're looking for something that is you know a little different in the market and also if you're in a humid climate like I am this light base would do you wonders. The foundation I use the flawless skin top coat comes in this dropper bottle and I really like it like I like how it feels really light on the skin it doesn't feel like I'm wearing too much even though the color does not really match me now or maybe it will never really match me but yeah I really like how not as runny as I thought it would be like if you can hear it it sounds pretty liquidy but when it came out of the dropper it's pretty thick in consistency like a normal regular foundation so I really like that and I like the I like the whole you know I don't really have to set it with powder because I usually don't set my foundation with powder anyways and applying too much on my skin in a humid climate just makes for a bad makeup day so yeah I like that I can just apply my foundation not much concealer and you know I'm good to go so overall I'll give this product a 8 out of 10 this a 7 out of 10 and the foundation a 8 out of 10 as well that's just my first impression review if you want to know my final grading just head over to the blog as i mentioned and that will be all for me and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see other videos like this do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will do my best to do other brand focused type videos if you want me to review another brand do leave it in the comments below as well with that i'll just see you guys in the next video bye